Hey everyone, Jenna Cook, Norwex Independent Sales Consultant, coming to you from my basement. I live in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania, and i um, very excited to be here today to party with Lindsay and some of her friends and family. Um, also, I know Chris in this group and maybe a couple of other people, but um, it is a pleasure to be here and introduce you guys or expand your stash um, with, excuse me, of Norwex. So I am going live from my phone. I don't know if you guys saw that. Hey, Lindsay, I don't know if you guys saw, I know Lindsay did, the last three times I tried to go on. I've never had a problem with my computer going live. I do this setup from my basement all the time, and it just kept, the screen just kept going blank. At the top, it was still showing I was recording, um, but I couldn't see myself, and if I can't see myself, I mean, I prefer not to see myself, but if I can't see myself, then I can't tilt my camera to show you guys demonstrations and, like, make sure that you can see what I can see. So... Um, we'd give a couple minutes for everybody to get logged on here, but in the meantime, um, I'm going to show you a quick product. Um, I purposely left my makeup on last night when I went to sleep. This morning I got up, I have a picnic. My hair is wet and will dry curly eventually, um, but I have a picnic um, after the party here, and I will be putting on fresh makeup, but this is last night's makeup. So I'm clean and ready to go other than that, but I want to show you how I use the Norwex body cloth. Um, there's also Norwex makeup removal cloth, but I am a person who wants any product to do more than one task. So I like the body cloth because I can buy a three pack called the body pack. And with that three pack, I can remove my makeup and then I can move on and wash my body. I can wash my armpits and my lady bits <laughs> to be a little crass, but, um, the great thing about a Norwex cloth is you don't need soap. You, um, the, the cloth contains backlock technology, which I will elaborate on here in a little bit. Um, but it is, it, the backlock is a, as a micro silver that's in embedded in the cloth and that doesn't allow bacteria to grow. So it keeps you from having a stinky cloth. Um, but I haven't used soap since last April. I haven't used shave gel. I haven't used face wash. All I use is my Norwex body cloth. And of course, I mean, I have like 10 of them, but uh, it is pretty wonderful. So I'm going to show you guys how I, how quickly, how easily, and how cost effectively I will remove my, ma my makeup. So let me try to balance my cell phone here. Okay. So I just have some warm water in a little bucket here next to me. And I have my Norwex body cloth. It's the size of a standard washcloth. And I'm just going to wring it out. I'm going to leave it a little bit um, a little bit damp because it does exfoliate. So you really don't want it to be too, too dry because you're rubbing on a sensitive part of your body, your eyelids. So all I'm going to do is wipe my eyes. Now this is waterproof. Hi, Melissa. I am just washing my face with the Norwex um, body cloth. And this is removing waterproof mascara, uh, black eyeliner, and again, so a three pack of these uh, are twenty dollars and ninety nine cents. Think about what do you spend on uh, the you know bulk face wipe packs that you can get from Costco, or maybe you buy some products from the ladies that drive the pink Cadillacs, which is what I used to use. Um, but as you can see, that took all my black black makeup off. Here it is on the cloth, but that's not going to affect it cleaning. What I'm going to do, as with every Norwex product, I'm going to put this in, back in the water, scrub it against itself. Those makeup stains are going to stay there until I deep clean this cloth, but wring it out as dry as possible and hang it by the tag. So that's just a quick little, little demo for you guys while we waited for people to get logged on. So, um... We will get rolling here. So again, my name is Jenna Cook. Um, I'm a Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. I started selling Norwex in November, but have been a longtime Norwex user. Um, my, bro my brother first introduced me uh, through a friend from elementary school, and ever since, I have I started buying a ton of products. And then my friend, who was a consultant, said, "Jenna, you love talking to people. You're a stay-at-home mom who can't use a little bit of extra cash." And we decided, hey, this was the time to do it. It was a reduced qualification month, and I didn't pay a penny to get my get my business started. So 
here I am. I do anywhere between two and four parties a month, and it's my business. I can work as little or as much as I want, which is what I enjoy. I have two kids and a husband. Uh, some days that, that means three kids, but uh, no, he's a sweetheart. Um, but that is where I began my Norwex journey. So, Norwex um, is a company that was started in 1994. It all started with a single cloth. Um, a gentleman named Bjorn was trying to get, uh, from Sweden, was trying to get bugs off of the front of his car, and he developed the, <laughs> developed the, um, what's now known as the Enviro cloth. It used to just be the little red cloth, but now it's the Enviro cloth. Um, so, nor so the Enviro cloth is going to be like your most basic product. So um, what I like to tell people, and and a good way to remind people is, Enviro cloth starts with the letter E. What can you clean with your Enviro cloth? Everything. So that's my go-to for any job initially before I bring in some of the you know any of the Norwex um, cleaning products and things like that. I start with that. Um, I got like an entire ice cream sandwich that was caked onto my tan suede. Of course, I bought those before I had children. Tan suede kitchen chairs. Um, my daughter was telling me as this was happening, Mommy, my ice cream sandwich is spilling. But I thought it was just spilling on her pants. And it was spilling all over the chair. And then I didn't notice it till the next morning. So anyways, a wet enviro cloth. Took that right off. Um, and it's no worse for the wear. Although I would recommend to my... 28 year old self who bought that chair I would say Whoosh! why would you buy that that was silly so this is our enviro cloth and it's a little harder on my cell phone but hey um, so this is a tighter weave of the microfiber all of our microfiber is a little bit different but uh, I'll explain the things as we go what's nice about the Norwex uh, cloths and this helps for anybody that's new to Norwex or if you're just you know really expanding your arsenal and you don't want to forget what's what the tag fills you in so here it says Enviro and this says Backlock and you know it's a Norwex product so um, again that the Backlock is what is going to keep this 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 cloth now I just got this one up this morning but I used um, my Enviro for the last week I've had I had two parties prior to this one that I used it for and then I cleaned my house. So this cloth and any of our microfiber is going to remove 99% of bacteria from a surface using water alone. Uh, so this is a superior microfiber product. Some people will say, well, I can get microfiber towels at the big box store. And I'd, I'd say, yeah, I absolutely can. Um, but you will you will know just by feeling this. You will know that this is this is the gold standard in microfiber. So, in this one cloth alone, this very cloth. If Lindsay and I were traveling on a road trip, which I've gotten to know Lindsay a little bit, and she seems like a whole lot of fun. So maybe we'll have to maybe we'll have to do that, Chris, if you can get that uh, put together. If we were driving and uh, in the middle of Canada, I decided to play a little trick on Lindsay and I said, why don't you hop out of the car and hold the end of this Enviro cloth? And I unraveled it and I took off down the road. I headed south and Lindsay was still standing there holding on to this, a string of this. By the time that I got to the Gulf of Mexico and hit the beaches while Lindsay's still up in Canada with her ski coat on, she, she is fun. See, I, I could just tell that. By the time I hit the beaches... Lindsay would still be holding on to her corner, and I would be holding on to mine. So that's how much cloth is in this one cloth. So this has some superior cleaning power. Um, the North American standard for microfiber is that it has to be one-sixth the size of a human hair, which is holy heck small. But the Norwex Enviro cloth is one two-hundredths of a human hair. So this, like I said, gold standard. So... What can this cloth do? Um, besides everything, which is what I said, I am going to wet this cloth and wring it out. And I'm going to get it pretty dry because... There we go. Sorry. I'm kind of boxed in by my computer cord here. So again, just wringing it out. Okay, quick tip. With the Enviro cloth, with any of our cloths, really, if you fold it in half and then fold it in half again. You now have eight clean 
sides of this cloth, eight cleaning surfaces, before you need to go back to the sink to rub it against itself and wring it out again and get it wet. So I'm going to clean up butter with this. I'm going to clean up raw pork with this. Um, I can't remember what else I'm going to clean up. I'm going to show you guys several things, but I'm going to use this cloth and I am the rest of this time not going to need to get this wet again. I'm not going to need to rinse it because I have eight sides to clean. Um, and if, if you ask me, the least number of times I go back to the sink is the least amount of time that I'm cleaning. I'm not looking for new cleaning products. I'm looking for anything. I've got my Enviro cloth and I'm going to whiz through this house because listen, who has the time to clean? Um, stay at home mom, have a job, who knows? any of it, you don't have time, no matter what. So, um, this cloth here. So we are going to do what I like to call the raw pork demonstration. And what I'm going to show you is that how this cloth can pick up protein uh, residue from a surface. And what's important about protein is protein is smaller than bacteria in size. So what I'm going to show you is that if you're using this and you wipe a surface that has uh, urine, like if you're wiping a toilet seat, urine has protein in it. If you um, make a peanut butter sandwich and your nephew's coming over and he's allergic to peanut butter and you want to make sure you wipe down uh, the seat where he sits when he comes to your house. These are things, this is what you want to show. You want to show that the protein is, is gone. So, little side note as, we, as I do this protein, and again, hold on, I have to move my cell phone. Let's see here. I'm probably going to have to hold this with my hands. Um, I'm going to do this protein demonstration on the Norwex um, cutting board. And what's this is a small cutting board. There's also a large cutting board. This is one of my favorite products. Um, it is made of food-grade rice husks. So you're cutting, maybe you nick your cutting board. I don't know about you guys, but I used to use plastic cutting boards, and I used one that looked like, like this. And I cook a lot, and you can see there's a whole lot of knife marks in there. And I wondered after I started selling Norwex, hmm, I wonder where all that plastic goes. I'm fairly certain I'm eating it. So I don't use this anymore because what else gets in those cracks? Bacteria. So, um, yeah, that's, that's gone. So I use this, food-grade rice husks. It's great. It's got a little... Um, hole in the side here. You can hang it if you'd like. It's got a nice deep reservoir, cutting pineapple, cutting chicken, whatever you're cutting. It's going to collect the juices. The back has some rubber that keeps it from sliding. Um, and again, it, it, if your family's eating something that's a little unsavory, rice has certainly aren't. So um, I do love this product. So I'm going to do the raw pork demo. It's actually called the raw chicken demo, but pork is cheaper than chicken. And hey, listen, sometimes you got a penny pinch. So what I have here is a piece of pork. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of pork and all its lovely juices, and let me get a paper towel here, and I'm going to rub it on the cutting board here. Let me see if I can flip the camera, guys, so that I can at least see what I'm aiming at. Yeah! Okay. So, rub, rub, rub. You can see that's visibly wet. So. Let me get rid of my pork. I am going to take my Enviro cloth and I'm going to wipe from the surface. And then I'm going to use a protein test strip and show you that there is no pork or protein residue left on this tray. So, again, I'm sorry if I'm making anybody seasick, but holding my phone with one hand and trying to wipe. But because the Norwex um, counter, excuse me, cutting board has rubber on it, at least it's not going to slide on me. So, again, that's all wiped with one side. Microfiber. I'm leaving this side face up so I can also show you that there's not going to be any uh, carryover between the two. This is a protein test uh, test strip swab, and we have uh, one level of passing. That's green. Gray fails. Purple fails. Dark purple fails. If it's gray, purple, or even more purple, that means it's detecting protein on the surface. So here's what I do. I open it. I rub it where I just had the pork. I'm going to also dab it on here so you guys can see. And then I'm going to put it back in. Whoa. Okay. Squeeze the liquid down in. Come on. This is very hard one-handed. Darn computer. Okay. You see green. Green is passing. There is no bacteria showing 
on that surface. So Norwex just removed that pork goo. Now I'm going to show you with another test strip. Let me just put this down here. And everybody can admire Chris Brown's uh, work. That's a picture that she took of my new when my son was a newborn and my daughter was about two. Um, so I'm going to take the pork here and I'm going to show you. I'm dabbing directly on the pork. I'm going to get some pork juices on here and you're going to see what a failed test looks like. So I'm going to put it back in the... And you will see pretty quickly, we are already into the levels of gray and headed towards purple. That is pork. So to show you guys that I absolutely stand behind. Hi, hi, Marianne, how are you? I'm going to show you that this this uh, cutting board is clean so i'm going to flip my camera back around and i'm going to now lick where the where the pork was because that is clean well now it's not clean because i've licked it but it was clean so um absolutely love that gotta run no problem i will i will post a video of the fruits and veggies and i am going to clean a carrot in this demo so definitely check back melissa have a good day at work Okay, so that was the raw pork demo. Um, and Marianne, anything that you missed, you can um, you can watch this video again after after the replay. So let me put this back down before I make everybody nauseous. Oh. That wasn't good. Sorry. Oh, what a day, huh? Okay, so the second product I want to show you is the Norwex window cloth. And what I like to explain is that the Enviro cloth and the window cloth are like a really really good tag team. Um, so this is like Batman and this is like Robin. So when you do a job, so say you want to clean your bathroom fixtures, so you want to wipe them down and you want to get all the toothpaste splatter and all the grime off, but you want to polish that, that surface. You use this same thing with, um, maybe the windows inside of your car, a mirror, anything like that. You want to rub with this, get all the, any debris off, and then you want to shine it with the window cloth. And when you use the window cloth, you really don't have to apply a lot of pressure. It's very light and you just kind of want to wipe on there. So this is a game changer. You will never have to work hard on cleaning. See, Lindsay loves that window cloth. You will never have to work hard again on cleaning, even your stainless products. Um, I wipe my stainless refrigerator, which gets kids fingerprints. I don't know who's worse, the kids or the husband, but there are fingerprints all over that fridge. Same thing with the uh, microwave and the dishwasher and the oven. Um, so I wipe it down with, with my Enviro cloth and then I shine it up with my window cloth. And at least for the next hour, it looks clean only because, um, well, those people still live here and they still touch everything. So um, maybe yours are better trained than mine, but I highly doubt it. I think it's a common problem. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how I can, how I can clean a mirror with, um, I'm going to put butter on this mirror. I'm going to smear butter on both sides of the mirror. And then I'm going to show you what a, um, what window cleaner will do against the butter and what the Enviro cloth and the window cloth will do against the butter. And you can decide which you think is uh, a superior product. So here I have unnamed window cleaner. And again, I have my Enviro cloth and my window cloth. And then I am going to get some of my lovely Aldi Easter paper towels. And I'm going to get two select a size here for this job. And I'm going to take a little container with some butter in it. And I'm going to smear it on. And again, sorry, I'm doing this one handed, guys. You're having some sympathy for me, I'm certain. Uh, let me flip the camera around so we can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take some butter. Normally I'd use a paper towel, but again, I only have one hand right now using my phone. So I'm going to try to smear, you know, like equal amounts of butter on each side. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is show you. Here's my paper towel. There's my window cleaner and I'm going to scrub. 
And again, I'm doing this one-handed, so we'll see how well I can do. But I'm going to try to get all that. Oh, this darn phone. Bumped a button. Sorry. Um, okay, so I'm just going to work on getting this butter off. And the butter, like, a... oh my gosh, can't turn your phone while live. There's so many rules with your phone. I'm going to have to have a word with my laptop. So anyways, um, you can see, I'm turning the cloth, turning the cloth. It it got a lot of it, but it's still smeared. There's still some butter on there, and it would require another paper towel and perhaps some more uh, window cleaner for me to complete that job. Again, window cleaner, chemicals. So, if I don't have to use chemicals, then why would I? So how about I take my Enviro cloth, and I'm going to wipe. Okay, and that surface looks really clean. My camera needs to refocus here, there we go. And now I'm just going to lightly wipe with the window cloth to polish. And you can see that the window cloth side is clean. And again, I got a little streaking here on the corner because this one handed is not getting a good wipe. But <clears throat> I can now remove the rest of the butter side. and clean up what the window cleaner could not with the same cloth and polish. And now I have a clean mirror ready for my next party. So I love that. I love that cloth. I love that the one, two punch that that provides, um, is, is really a big deal. So again, putting this away, but hey, how much do these cost? Uh, they're not cheap, even though I know when I got this way back when I had um, a coupon. But if you don't need to use chemicals in your home, if you don't have to, um, you know, if you have pets, if you have children, do you really want their their noses, their little snouts, human and pet, against the window, um, allowing this to uh, put a burden on their body? The things, these kind of chemicals, they they get into your system through touch, you know, just walking on a floor that you've, that you've mopped and maybe you've used some sort of, you know, wood, wood cleaner for your floor. These are getting into your body. So yes, we can't reduce, you know, the chemicals everywhere we go. We can't say if we're at McDonald's, you know, did you wipe these tables with an Enviro cloth? But what we can do is take our travel enviro cloth with us and wipe down. I wipe down high chairs before I put my, my son in them because I know they, they clean them with sanitizer water, which, you know, basically is bleach water a lot of places. Um, I just wipe them down and carry on and no worse the wear. But another thing, because of the enviro cloth, I'm sure everybody has bought these at some point, um, they're convenient. But what a lot of people don't know and... The instructions on the back are quite long. Uh, not only does a huge thing say precautionary statement, hazardous, ha excuse me, hazards to humans and domestic animals. But it also says a whole bunch of other things. And amongst it, it says, use to disinfect harden on porous surfaces. Wipe surface to be disinfected. Use enough wipes for treated surface to remain visibly wet for four minutes. To kill viruses, let's stay in 15 seconds. Let surface dry. For high, highly soiled surfaces, clean excess dirt. You know, all these things. Four minutes staying wet, how many of these would you use? And these aren't cheap. So if your concern isn't the chemicals in your home, if your concern uh, isn't um, the cost, or excuse me, the speed of cleaning, if your concern is, Hey, I'd rather just save some money. Hey, I'd rather space, save some space in my cart at Costco and not put a 20-pack of these in. Um, you can buy an Enviro cloth for $18.49, and you can reuse it, and you wash it, and you use it again. Um, so it pays for itself very quickly because we all know the price of these. Um, but again, so you make your son's sandwich, and you've wiped the counter with this. Well, did you wipe it with water before that? Because this is not food safe. So after you wipe your counter and you keep it visibly wet for four minutes, now you have to wipe it with water 
now you can make your sandwich because this is not safe uh, before that. And again, most people think, uh, why do you have to tell me how to use these, girl? That You just pull them out and you just wipe stuff. That's not it. Um, again, really, 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 really long instructions. So I don't buy these anymore either. Woohoo! Cost saving. Um, next thing I want to talk to you guys about. Let's go with the cleaning paste. And I am all about the paste. Uh, my family laughs at me. I'm like borderline obsessed with the cleaning paste. I have found like very few and I couldn't even tell you if you said pop quiz. Tell me what the cleaning paste can't clean because I find so many things that it can clean. So what do I use the cleaning paste for? I clean my inside of my oven with the cleaning paste. I clean the glass door on my oven with the cleaning paste. I clean my glass stove top. You know, one drop of water gets on there and it burns on and it's like, how did that turn to black concrete in 12 seconds? Um, and it never looks new and fresh. See, it, Lindsay, and most people don't because you think that it's common sense. It, it's a wipe. You pull it out, you wipe. That's, that's it. But if you have a bottle, I mean, of course I encourage you to throw it out because you're a Norwex girl now, but um, I would say read them because it's really kind of alarming. So the cleaning paste. So what's what I want you to know, because if you do purchase the cleaning paste, it's called paste. I think it should be called cleaning chalk. It's dry. So if you get yours, don't think, oh my gosh, what's wrong with mine? See, it's just chalky. Um, has a light, nice, light, refreshing, clean, soapy smell. Um, active ingredients are marble flour, natural soap, and traces of coconut oil. It sounds refreshing. So I'm going to show you with the cleaning paste. And like I said, I used to clean my oven with this product, um, which on the back says many, many things, but contains sodium hydroxide. Keep out of reach of children. Wear long rubber gloves and eye protection when using. Contact will burn skin and eyes. Avoid contact with eyes, nose, skin, and clothing. Harmful if swallowed. Do not breathe. Spray mist. Do not take internally. How do you clean your oven and not breathe this in? I don't know. I don't think I can. Um, I don't use this anymore because I have the cleaning paste and the cleaning paste is going to replace, in my approximation, this is probably replaced three quarters of what I would use this, uh, cleaning products for. This takes off soap scum off of my shower. Um, this I clean, like I have a, a collection of some, um, silver and it's not the finest pieces. So I don't mind a little bit of marks, a little bit of swirl marks on it. So I use this for that. Um, like I said, car rims, golf clubs, I can't even... Hey, Nicole, um, I don't, I can't even tell you what else I use it for. Um, the list is long. Trust me. I'm like the guy from, um, my big fat Greek wedding that sprays Windex on everything. Like that was his solution to, uh, you know, Oh, hell you have a cut on your arm here. Let's spray it. Yeah. This is me with the cleaning paste. So I'm going to take my wet and viral cloth. And again, still the same one that I used for, uh, with the pork and the butter and everything else. And I'm going to just rub across the paste. The average container of paste uh, lasts the, excuse me, a container of cleaning paste lasts the average consumer um, two years. So this is $29.99, but let me tell you, you're going to get your mileage out of this. You're no longer going to be buying a lot of things that would do this same job. So what I'm going to show you is this is my um, kitchen floor. This is bamboo wood floor. And I had a party for Laura, and this uh, says, you are a, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean this. And normally I would do this on the counter here, but since we're on my cell phone, I'm just going to do it right here. So I'm going to push and rub and get the U off of Flora. And again, this is just the cleaning paste and an Enviro cloth. So that was permanent marker. And that permanent marker, Laura's party was last Sunday. So that has come off. You need to get a little bit more. Swipe across the paste again. I could take it all off, but we're going to leave a light R and an A because you get the point. Whoa. My bathroom tile. It used to say oops. Now it says PS as in please buy cleaning paste. Um, again, swipe across. Sorry, guys. I'm very dangerous around here. Cleaning paste, RPS, voila, I'm telling you, this is the stuff. I'll just do a quick show, here's one of my 
family, um, what is this called? Silver. Um, you can see it's, it's oxidized. So I'm just going to take a little bit of paste. And again, with everything, with any product, you want to test in an inconspicuous spot first. I don't want to tell you, hey, go, um, scrub this on your bathroom floor. And then you say, well, I just, I think that was a bad idea. Well, let's just test it first, always. But, um, this is great. So I'm just going to rub right here on the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to wipe it with a clean wet side. And you can see the oxidation is removed. And you can see there it is on my Enviro. Yes, uh, Lindsay, you do want to wet the... So this is still wet from when I first did my demo. But yes, you, you want to work with this wet. The only time you really want to use your Enviro cloth dry is if you're using it to dust. Um, I don't find it to be the best to dust uh, because I think that the two other products I'll talk about in a second are superior for dusting. Uh, but you can dust with, with this cloth as well. Um, but that's really the only application you'd use dry. So that's that. So, voila! Okay. So again, I talked about my glass stove top. I used to use this stuff and it got a lot of the gook off the glass stove top, but again, chemical. Let's see what kind of crazy warnings we have on this one. Do not swallow eye and skin irritant. Do not get in eyes. Do not get on skin or clothing. Keep out of reach of children. Wear safety glasses and chemical resistant gloves because everybody does that when they clean. Uh, contain sodium carbonate and exoxylated alcohols. First aid treatment. If swallowed, call. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that one either. So this one, I wiped it on my fingers. I'm not worried. I'm not going to get a rash. I'm not going to break out. I, I use this with no gloves and I'm perfectly good with it. So again, this is my jam. I am going to show you. Oh, when I, when I, when I do clean my oven and I do clean my, um, stovetop, I do want to show you. So like the oven, this is for more abrasive jobs. This is called the Spironet. Normally this is in like a nice circle, but they start to fall apart as you use them. Cause that's what they're made for. It comes in a two pack and this is what I use again, oven doors, anything. Uh, I cleaned golf clubs with these. I can use it on my shower door. Um, the glass, just trying to get off some of the um, hard water stains. So, two pack of those. Glass stove top I use. This is called a Spira sponge. Same thing. Wet it. Squeeze out the excess water. Swipe it across my cleaning paste. Go to town. This is also great. My husband swears by these to do our dishes, pots and pans and whatnot. He loves these. Um, and if he loves something and wants to do the dishes. Yes. So... That is that. Okay. Moving on. I want to talk to you guys about dusting. And here I have what I used to use. Okay. And this was pretty cool at the time when it came out. It was like, hey, I don't have to use the spray and like an old cut up t-shirt. Because I think that's what everybody's mom used when they like taught you how to clean. Um these came out and they were cool but then pet safe um yes well w like that cleaning paste is 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 pet safe i mean of course you don't want anybody to eat it because it is still a cleaning product but um just a microfiber cloth water it's going to remove 99 percent of bacteria from your surface so you can't get much more pet safe than cloth and water same thing with our mop it's microfiber and water. So um, we can elaborate further, but I have a list of, uh, I can put, post a graphic later, a list of um, popular pet owner items. We have um, pet towels, we have pet mitts for wiping them off, um, odor eliminator, different things that are all perfectly safe with your pet. So I will post that later. So this dusting wand, I used to clean uh, my ceiling fans and I would wipe them down and then I would be so sad because my ceiling fans would look great. You're welcome. Um, my ceiling fans would look great, but my bed sheets needed wash now because all the dust, this was supposed to cling to it, but it didn't. And now my sheets need washed and I just made more work for myself. So do I use this anymore? No. You want to know why? Superior product. Here it comes. So this is the Norwex dusting mitt. Slide it on your hand. You have the ability to clean your banisters, 
reach into spaces, wipe. This is awesome. You can use this wet to clean your window screens. You can wipe, use it wet to wipe down patio furniture. People uh, swear by taking this to the beach and dusting off their sandy feet when they're about to like go into their rental home or their hotel or get back in the car. This is the bee's knees. So I'm going to show you what's important to know about the dusting mitt and any pretty much anything that you want to pick up dust, any of the Norwex products, you want to build up a static charge. So you can take this off and you can rub it against itself because the static is going to help grab that dust and dirt. Or you can put it on your hand, and this is my preferred method, and rub it on the carpet. A couple swipes on the carpet, and you'll actually hear, you know, that staticky sound. Um, that's what you want. I'm going to take a little bit of flour, and flour is just going to mimic our dust. A little bit of flour on the table here. And I'm going to show you how this is going to pick it up. And you're going to see, it's going to stay on here. It's not going to be all over the place. So let me flip this around again. Okay. Here's my mitt. And again, I'm going to, I rubbed it against itself. There's the dust. Little spot left. Got it all. Now you have a couple options when, once you're done with this. And I'm going to flip the camera back around. A couple of options when you're done with the mitt. You can take it outside and clap it against itself. You can, uh, my mom has a brick house. She takes it out and she, she just like smacks it against the side of the brick. Or you can leave it on your hand. You can go do this outside or you can do this inside. Take the Norwex rubber brush and you can just go like this. And I'm not going to do it because it's just going to get flour everywhere. But just dust it off right into the trash can. The rubber brush is also wonderful for using as a dog brush. Uh, my mom has a Boxer Shepherd Pit Bull mix, and she is a shedder. I think that's the shepherd in her. Um, but this is amazing, you should, the, the hair that this pulls out. And she doesn't mind it because it's just soft little rubber bristles. Uh, another thing great for it, you can use this to um, do the edge of your steps, like in the cracks where you vacuum, but it doesn't quite get into the carpet. Um, it'll pull out a whole bunch of dog hair, human hair, crumbs, whatnot, and just scrape that out. Um but this, this is a good product. So dusting mitt. So next in dusting, we have our Enviro wand and the wand has two sides. It's got these little chenille nubbers here. And then on this side, it's smooth. What's cool about this is, so say you have a high bookshelf, you're going to clean or a ledge in your kitchen or wherever that you can't reach, or you're going to do ceiling fans. You can bend this to, um, whatever shape you'd like. I was visiting a friend in Chicago and I cleaned her ceiling fan. She's lived in that house for five years and she never once cleaned the ceiling fan. And the reason was, is it was a two story, um, family room. They have those really, really high ceilings. And she said, I'm, I don't want to get out of, um, a ladder in like fall down. Oh, I just, it's, it, there was no safe way for her to do it. I took my, my handle off of this no problem, Marianne, and you can check the rest of this out later if you'd like. So I can pop it off, and I can put it on to the mop handle. So now I can reach. I'm 5'7", almost 5'8", and I could reach on a two-step step stool. I reached and cleaned her fans. Right now, I'm seated, and this is touching the ceiling, and of course, I just have a regular story house, but this is touching the ceiling. Um, so, that's another feature. So, this is the Enviro wand, and I love it. So, there's dusting. Dusting's out of the way. Um... I want to talk about a couple of unsung heroes, as I like to call them, that I don't um, often get to talk about on a demo, but I think it's important. Here we have a carrot, and this is what we were just talking about. Um, Melissa was saying about the, there's a produce wash um, that you can clean your berries and whatnot with. Uh, I clean my lettuce with it, those sort of things. It's a, a nice little spray. But this carrot can be cleaned using the fruit and veggie scrub cloth. What's cool about it is that now you don't even have to, once I do this, I will not need even need to peel this carrot. So again, as with all Norwex products, it's going to tell you what it is. 
fruit and veg. One side has some nylon in it, so it's a little bit rougher. I use this side for carrots, potatoes, those sort of things. And then there's a little bit of a softer side. I use it for like apples, zucchinis, um, things you don't want to like scratch up the skin. So all I'm going to do, take my carrot. And again, you see it looks pretty yuck. I'm just going to, I normally do this under running water, but hey, we're working with what we're working with here in the basement. So I'm just wiping it. Mmm, it smells good. Carroty. But. You can scrub around, you can scrub up and down, however you want to wash. But this is removing all the pesticides and the who knows who touched my carrot in the store. and Clean carrot. There you go, folks. So, this I use several times a week while I'm cooking. So, pretty great. Okay. Another unsung. Darn it. Sorry, guys. Another unsung hero. Um, and then we'll get it wrapped up. I want to talk about laundry. One more unsung hero, and really quickly show you the mop. And then we'll get going here. I know everybody's got to get moving. i got to get to my picnic. Um, okay, so paper towel use. Out of control. I'm a mom. Chris has pets. Um, you know, I know everybody is going through paper towels. It's a thing. You know, what are you going to do? you got to wipe stuff up. We have a solution to that. We have, and again, I use paper towels still, but I have reduced my usage of paper towels substantially because I have the Norwex counter cloth. And the counter cloth is the size of a select size paper towel. And it is super absorbent. So you use this for whatever you would use a paper towel for normally. Dry your hands um, in the kitchen, wipe up the kids' mouths, clean a little juice spill off the floor. Whatever you would grab a paper towel for, here's your cloth. Again, if it gets gunk on it, run it under hot water, rub it against itself, hang it by the towel to dry. But it dries really fast, so you can be reusing this in no time. I use it in the morning, and by lunchtime, it's it's dried up again and ready to use. So what I'm going to show you is, in these cups, is a quarter cup of water in each. I added a splash of my son's prune juice just to show you... Um, uh, just to, for you to have a color contrast. But I'm going to show you how many paper towels it takes to soak up this same amount of liquid as it does um, the counter cloth. Another thing important to know is that most paper towels are not made from recycled material. So they're cutting down this virgin tree wood. They're cutting down trees to make paper towels. Um, so I'm going to start ripping some here so I am ready to go. And um, also, what else about paper towels? Sometimes the paper towels are bleached. Um, they take up too much cart space at Costco because, listen, you need space for a whole bunch of more cool stuff like an entirely too big bag of, you know, waffle mix and Godiva chocolates and five pounds of butter. I don't know. But nobody wants to waste their Costco or their Sam's Club cart space with paper towels. So I only probably buy two of those giant... Uh, packages a year now so and I was like every two months so let me flip the camera again okay so I'm gonna put my what did I just do with oh there it is okay same amount of liquid there's our counter cloth in the juice water we're gonna let it do its thing and now we're gonna put some selective size paper towels in here so there's one Here's two. Three. Four. Five. Still pretty wet. Six. Still wet. I gotta rip more. 
seven. I think seven might do the trick. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see if that soaked everything. Okay, so seven. And eh, there's still a little in the bottom there. Seven select a size paper towels. And there is still some liquid coming out of there. But let's check on our countercloth. So I'm going to flip it around, make sure we got all our goodies up here. Voila. And you can see there's still some dry spots on this. So it did the job of seven select a size paper towels. And no liquid is still coming out of there. So. Flip that. There we go. I could go on and on and on about all sorts of different products, but I want to wrap up. I want to get everybody on with their day. So um, there's optic scarves. There's produce bags. The average American uses 200 of those little bags that you put your veggies and your fruits in at Giant Eagle or wherever. Uh, 200 of those a year. The average plastic bag in this country is used for approximately 12 minutes, and most of them aren't recycled. So we've got to try to make these conscious choices where we can. Um, let's show you here the mop. So I took the head off the mop just because it's easier, but here's our mop handle. Telescopic mop handle. This comes in two colors, Nordic Naturals. This is like a rose gold and then the blue green. Um, cool feature about the, the ball on the top. So say somebody, husband comes in with dress shoes, uh, kids, anybody scuffs the floor, just flip the, uh, handle around, rub this ball on the floor and it's going to take up that scuff mark. But this is super easy to push. My mother-in-law has had back surgery and she likes this mop because it doesn't hurt her back. Uh, this ledge here is actually, so you can put it up on like a door frame to dry. Um, just to let your pad dry. But you can also just take the pad off and clean it, but that's just another option. So a couple options here. You have the ability to lock and unlock this. So if you wanted to wipe walls or something once you put your pad on, this would lock this and keep it from swiveling. If you take it off lock, now you can go all over the place. So the mop comes with two different pads. It comes with the dry pad, um, which is what you're going to use to sweep up your chicken nugget crumbs. This will pick up the crumbs. This will not pick up an entire nugget. Um, so... This is what you use dry. When you're finished, you're going to want to go over the trash can. And you're just going to want to brush it with your rubber brush and get all the crumbs into the trash can. I probably wash this every few months. I don't wash this very often. The other one we have is the wet. So I take this under the sink, I soak it down, and then I roll it up like this and wring it out as dry as I can. And then it will hold seven times its weight. It will get heavy. This Velcro is right on. Voila. Like I said, you can use this to wipe walls. You can do all sorts of things. But this is um, the wet pad. Some people don't like to use it directly wet on wood floors. Um, my grandma's very freakish about water on her wet floors. Or excuse me, water on her wood floors. Um, and she just uses a sprayer and just mists it very lightly. And then as it seems dry, she just adds a little bit more. Uh, there are two other pads you can buy separately. This is the tile pad. It has a little bit of nylon weaved into it, so it can be a little bit more abrasive to get into those cracks of the tiles. Um, my aunt uses this to clean her tile shower. She puts it on her mop, and she cleans her tile shower with this. So that's that. And finally, this is the chenille mop pad. This is great for pet hair. Um, really, pet hair is the thing. that My brother has a chocolate lab, and he swears by this thing. So... This is pretty great. That's our mop system. Okay, finally, we're just going to talk quickly about laundry, and then we are good to get on with our day. So this is the, laund the bag the laundry detergent comes in. There's powder and there's liquid. Um, the liquid is in a small bottle, too. Ultra concentrated. We are talking no phosphates, SLS, no SLES, no chlorine bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners, no animal testing, no dyes or fragrances. When you buy big jugs of detergent, it's full of fillers. Um, so you're paying for stuff that you don't need to clean your clothes. Um, so this little bag comes to your door, which is awesome. 
so you don't have to waste that card space um, or get your get your curls in with that heavy bag or those heavy bottles anymore. You have this. Now it comes with a regular scoop in it. I suggest, especially Western Pennsylvania folks, to go ahead and get rid of that scoop. Scooping. I don't follow the directions on the bag. Um, it's just a, the directions on the bag are made for European applications. So what you're going to want to do is. I have a teaspoon. I use for a large load, I use two teaspoons. For a super load, I use two teaspoons. For a small load, I use one teaspoon. All other loads in between, just adjust. But that's all you need. It's ultra concentrated. I know it sounds like it's, I, I've had people that are like, that's it. That's all you use. So this one bag says that according to the directions, it will give you 100 uh, high efficiency loads and 66 standard loads. But I can tell you, that it goes it lasts way longer than that because you're not using this giant scoop. So that's that. Um, I just want to show you quickly a couple of samples of what laundry detergents. We have three laundry detergents here, and one is Norwex, and the other two are the leading sellers here in this country. This one made me gag when I made it. I couldn't wait till it was cool enough that I could put the lid on. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything free or clear about this. There's sediment, um, and like I said, it smelled funny. This one, as you can see, has some weird marks on the glass. This is all enough for one load. Who wants to put this on their, on their laundry, on their clothes that they wear? And how about this one? Still gets your bubbles, but that looks like water. Guess which one's the Norwex? The one that looks like water. No fillers, no sediment, no chunks. Keep your animal fat. I don't need that in my laundry detergent. I just want to have clean clothes, that's all. So, sorry, that was very loud. So, that's laundry. Finally, dryer balls. These reduce your drying time. These are the wool dryer balls. We also have rubber dryer balls. Um, I like the wool ones because you can put essential oils on them if you like that scent. You're not going to be using dryer sheets anymore. There's no need. Um, they have some toxic uh, stuff in them that are really unsavory to be breathing in. Um, so this is the option. These are going to, there's three balls in here. They're going to separate your clothes and reduce your drying time, which is going to save you electricity. Um, also reduces wrinkles and static without harsh chemicals as the conventional fabric softeners. So eventually pilling occurs on these, lint gets stuck to them. That's not a problem. It's not losing its effectiveness. So um, that's that. So I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me. Lindsay, thank you for introducing me to your family and friends. We're going to keep this party open for uh, probably till the end of the, the week. Um, Thursday, Friday, whatever, Lindsay, and I'll discuss it, but I'll give countdowns uh, so that everybody knows how long they have to shop. If anybody would like to party with me, um, please let me know. Lindsay will tell you it's pretty easy and painless. I set up the group. I, I'm also happy to come into your home, but I set up the group and um, do most of the legwork. All you have to do is invite your friends and engage and talk about products that you're going to love anyways. So earn some awesome uh, freebies and make your home a safe haven. I have carrots stuck in my throat right now. <laughs> I hope everybody has an awesome day. You're welcome, Lindsay. I know you are loving your Norwex and I'm excited for your family and friends to love it too. So I will post care and use instructions um, for the microfiber as well as warranties. Warranties are anywhere from 60 days to five years on these products. And uh, please check out the catalog. I didn't talk about a quarter of what we have. There's personal care items. There's body lotions, hand washes, scrubs, um, you name it. So thank you guys for spending part of your morning with me. And I'm off to picnic, and I hope you guys are off to place some orders for Miss Lindsay. Everybody have a great day. Thank you. Bye.